One thing is sure, you can't find the proper diagonal combination without the help of high-powered computer algorithms sifting through all the possibilities. The near impossibility of doing this manually is why so many investors, even experienced ones, aren't familiar with diagonals. So, what is a diagonal, and why do people choose to do them? A diagonal is similar to the covered call strategy, but instead of buying 100 shares of the stock, as you do in a covered call, you first buy an option that expires far in the future. Then you sell an option on that same stock that expires sometime sooner. The combination of these two options trades is called a diagonal. Let's see how this works and where the name diagonal came from. Here we see the XYZ stock that is selling for $48 per share. To do our diagonal trade, we see that we have purchased one option that lasts out into the future and sold the call expiring in just two months. We call this a diagonal because we can draw a diagonal line right here. We understand that diagonals are a new strategy for many of our subscribers, and we explain the ins and outs of the diagonal strategy in our Understanding Diagonals video. The goal of a diagonal is to generate income. Its distinguishing feature is that it combines a low capital requirement with juicy returns. A diagonal can be purchased for a fraction of what it would cost to buy the stock or to buy a covered call. The returns on diagonals can be so attractive that we don't need to concern ourselves about missing out on a stock that is on a run. And diagonals on some very sleepy stocks can score big percentage gains. So what kind of returns are realistic for diagonals? Diagonals typically can generate 35 to 40 percent annualized returns, and sometimes considerably more. Let's look at the returns on some of the diagonals we closed recently in our portfolios. The 35 to 40 percent range we mentioned is highlighted on the chart. Returns are often higher for stocks like tech stocks that are more volatile. But with diagonals, there can be very juicy returns even on stocks we wouldn't expect to be big winners, such as the telecom stock on the far right side of the chart. And diagonals can often be closed out early for their maximum target profits, increasing our annualized returns even further. In terms of profits, you can often make a 40% plus annualized return. How often can you find stocks that go up 40% in one year? And how many such stocks can you find? You can frequently close out a diagonal far before the expiration date for higher annualized returns. And your returns will be more consistent. You make profits over a wider range of outcomes, making maximum profits even when the stock goes nowhere. 40%, 50%, 60% returns on a stock that hasn't moved at all? Yes, really. Now let's talk about risk management. You have a much lower amount of capital at risk in a diagonal, and you enter your position with downside protection. You often have several opportunities to make the position work, if at first it goes against you, because you can sell options on the diagonal again if the first option you sell expires. Finally, in terms of peace of mind, as long as the stock stays above the strike price of the option you sold, the magic line, so to speak, you don't need to do a thing to manage the position. You don't have to continually face the decision, shall I get out of the trade now, or continue to hold for further gains, and risk losing what I've made so far? It's easy to exit the trade for full profit um, very frequently. <music>